Because it's I haven't I haven't seen a Kurtz Kazat video in a little bit. The largest things in the universe are black holes. In contrast to the Who's ready like for interstellar stars, dread, Jack? No <laughs> and can literally grow endlessly. Although in reality, specific things need to happen to create different kinds of black holes, from really tiny ones to the largest single things in the universe. Oh, that's actually terrifying. So Hello? Hello? What the fuck? <laughs> and how large huh. is the largest of ah. them all? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh oh. I love Kurtz Kazat. I love how detailed they this are. This video will not discuss how black holes I am work or how they terrified form, with some of the topics they cover though. Detail in our black hole and Ugh. neutron star series. <laughs> you can check them out afterwards. For now, we're interested in finding the largest thing in the universe. Let's start really, really small. Oh my god. <laughs> Primordial black holes. The smallest kind of black holes may or may not exist. If they do, they're probably the oldest objects in the universe, older even than atoms. <laughs> no, the they largest thing in the universe is the love for my friends. Aww. When the universe was so dense with violent energy that any <laughs> the real black holes were the friends we made along the way. <laughs> could produce a black hole. The God smallest primordial black hole that could still be around would be a trillion kilograms or so, the mass of a big mountain. Oh, was that all? Yet, they would be no bigger than a proton. What? A primordial black hole with the mass of Earth would barely be larger than a coin. This makes them very hard to find. Jesus so Christ! We actually observed any yet? If they exist, they may even be the mysterious dark matter that holds galaxies together. Let's Hello? move on to the kinds of black holes that we know for sure are out there. Stellar black holes. Stellar. Oh yeah, here we go. To make a black hole as dense as the average harem anime protagonist. So <laughs> After that, the more yeah. mass we throw yeah, it, the, the larger it becomes. In that today's checks. universe, only the most violent cosmic events can create the necessary conditions, such as the merger of neutron stars oh, or God. the core of a very massive star collapses in a supernova. To have a unit to work with here, we'll use the mass of our sun, about two million trillion trillion kilograms. That, wow. The smallest known okay. black hole has 2.7 times the mass of the sun, which works out as a sphere around 16 kilometers in diameter, oh. large enough to cover Paris. <laughs> oh no, Yashi, run, the black hole's directly above you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Another large black hole is the companion to the V723 Mon red giant star. <laughs> we can this destroy Paris in one shot, let's go! Sun, 30 million kilometers in diameter. And yet, it's thrown around by a tiny black hole just 17.2 kilometers wide. This tiny thing bullying the star is so much smaller that we can barely even show them in comparison. One of the largest... This is educational with cute animations and ducks. It's very seven. cute. It's very it educational. Spends its time eating it, it's also a very good source for existential dread bit. sometimes. As all that stolen matter <laughs> circles towards the black hole, like water going down a drain, friction heats it up to temperatures high enough to shine 500,000 times moment, chat. brighter Sorry about that. than our sun. And yet, X7 is only 15.65 solar masses and 92 kilometers wide. Seriously? Just big enough to cast a shadow on Corsica. Wow. Okay. To grow much larger. You're gonna hear me eating, by the way, chat. I have, I have some, I have some barbecue flavored potato with chips with me because I needed a snack. The instruments that make it possible to detect these mergers are very new, so we're currently discovering a lot of mm. exciting things. Hell yeah, tasty. Like two massive black holes that we detected in a galaxy 17 billion light years away. That's far As away, they holy spun Jesus. Around each other violently, they released more energy in the form of gravitational waves than the combined light from all the stars in the Milky Way in 4,000 <laughs> years. Wow. The new black hole they formed is about the size of Germany and is a holy Jesus. <laughs> And here we hit a curious gap in scale. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> the universe is really out there against France. I vibe that. <laughs> the masses. And here we Wait a second. Germany and <laughs> this is a very interesting sense of scale Kurtz Gazat is using. <laughs> the size of Paris, the size of Corsica, and the size of Germany. <laughs> Why those references specifically? Friends, hello? <laughs> is 142 solar masses. And here we hit a curious gap in scale. 
There are lots of black holes up to 150 solar masses, and then there's nothing for a long time until we suddenly hit black holes that are millions of times more massive. Oh, Jesus! Which is a bit confusing because we had this idea that black holes are consistently growing and growing. But for the most massive black holes, this process is not fast oh. enough to explain their existence today. The universe is, is simply not old oh, enough for these Jesus. supermassive black holes to have formed by eating stars and merging with each other. Something else must have happened. To explain how we got the largest black holes in the universe, we might need the largest stars that ever existed. What? Quasi stars. What? To get a sense of scale, we can compare them to the largest stars that exist today. Our sun is like a grain of sand next to them. Oh, Jesus! We don't know if quasi stars actually existed, but they're an interesting concept when it comes to supercharging black hole development. The idea is that the matter in the early universe was so dense that quasi stars could grow to thousands of times the mass of our sun. The cores of these stars might have been crushed by their own weight so much to actually collapse into black holes while the star was still forming. What? In contrast to stars today that would destroy themselves in the process, inside quasi stars, a deadly balance could emerge. Gravity pressed the supermassive star together, feeding the black hole and heating the material falling in to such a degree that the radiation pressure kept the star stable. And so these quickly growing black holes might have been able to consume the quasi star for millions of years and grow far bigger than any modern stellar black hole. Black holes That's are terrifying. Holy times shit. the mass of the sun and wider than the entire Earth. Oh, Jesus. These black holes might have become the seeds for supermassive black holes. There it is. There's the big boy. So now we arrive at the kings of our universe. Yep. The largest single bodies in existence. The centers of most galaxies contain a supermassive black hole. I was about to say. And they are monstrous. That's what's the center of the galaxy the right way, now. We have Sagittarius A star, a supermassive black hole with about 4 million solar masses. 4 million solar masses. Collected and just does its thing. Jesus Christ. It sits there That's enormous. There's a number of stars being thrown around by a seemingly empty spot. And despite its incredible mass, its radius Listen, my is cosmic still dragon form is big. It's not that big. Sun. That Smaller thing's bigger than, than I am. Giant stars, what the hell? Millions of times more massive. Because supermassive black holes are so massive and located at the center of galaxies, many people imagine them as being a bit like the sun in the solar system. An anchor that glues everything else together and forces it into an orbit. But this is a misconception. While the sun makes up 99.86% of all the mass in the solar system, supermassive black holes usually only have 0.001% of oh, the mass wow, of the galaxy. Okay. The billions of stars in galaxies are not gravitationally bound to them. Instead, it's the gravitational effect of dark matter which holds them together. Yeah, that checks. Many supermassive dark black holes weird. aren't gentle giants, especially when they're feeding on the clouds of mass in their galaxy. The one at the center of the BL Lacerti galaxy is devouring so much material that it produces jets of plasma accelerated to nearly the speed of light. Oh crap! If Earth were orbiting this huge body, it would seem 115 <laughs> POV, you're about to die. You don't say! You don't fucking say! Jesus Christ, if I woke up and saw that, well, goodbye everybody. <laughs> larger than our sun in the sky and we'd be burnt to a crisp in seconds by its glowing hot accretion disk at this point <laughs> the, the black hole pulls out a gun so large <laughs> the stars seem ridiculously tiny compared to them what the fuck the galaxy cygnus a has a supermassive black hole with 2.5 holy jesus and 14.7 billion <laughs> kilometers wide which would mean that if it took the place of our sun it would swallow all the planets and stretch halfway to the edge of our solar system oh my god it's God. devouring so much mass and material that it churns its disk into a kind of magnetic funnel, spewing gas out, making tremendous radio lobes towering over the galaxy half a million light years in Holy diameter. Holy shit! That's two and a half Milky Ways wide. Oh my God. Another pretty large supermassive black hole sits in the galaxy Messier 87. It has that is incredibly massive solar masses and was the first black hole we got an actual photo of. Oh, rather, right, this one. Of the glowing gas yeah, 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 yeah. the edge of a menacing shadow. This sphere of darkness is so large that it covers our entire solar system. Holy! 
And yet, there is a scale even above what? these kinds of objects. Ultramassive black holes. Why? Why is there a scale that large? Why is there a scale that large? Now, That's terrifying. The most massive black holes, perhaps the largest single bodies that will ever exist. What the fuck? These black holes have eaten so much <laughs> that they've grown to tens of billions of solar masses. Their gravity, the engine for a quasar, an accretion disk shining brighter than thousands of galaxies full of stars. So massive that they deserve a title of their own. Ultramassive black holes. Holy shit! The ultramassive black hole at the center of galaxy OJ287 is 18 billion solar masses. It's so big that it has a supermassive black hole what? 40 times larger than Sagittarius A star orbiting it. This thing defies imagination. I'm sorry. Time out. You're telling me there's a black hole so large it has another black hole orbiting it? I say this is a cosmic dragon. Space is terrifying. Don't go out there. <laughs> I've been out there. I've seen shit like this. Don't go out there. You don't have to. <laughs> Times larger Jesus than Christ. A star orbiting it. Good Lord. This thing defies imagination <clears throat> and is really hard to compare to anything. It can comfortably fit three solar systems side by side inside what of it. What the fuck? Let's end this insane competition and get to the king of kings. Why is there Carbon something bigger? 618, a black hole that we can observe consuming galaxies worth of matter is shining with the brightness of a hundred trillion stars visible what? from 18 billion light years away. What? It has an incredible 66 billion <laughs> solar masses. A black hole so large that it would take Excuse light a week me? to reach the singularity after crossing the event horizon. About 11 solar systems could sit inside of it, side by side. It may very well be the largest single body in the universe, but in reality, it's probably even larger. Since Tun 618 is so far away, we only see what it looked like 10 billion years ago. Oh God. In any case, Black holes are scary and mysterious <sighs> and gigantic. They'll Space be is scary, y'all. Everything else dies and growing larger and larger. Okay, now let's do the trip again. From the smallest possible Space black is terrifying. Hole, all the way up to the largest. It's interesting, but it's so scary at the same time. There's Earth. And then all of a sudden, there's Sagittarius A star. Oh my god. BA Lacerte, there's the Steven. Yeah, Stevenson 218 is the largest observable star. Oh my god. That's nightmarish. Like, legitimately. Let's try something new today. That is we can call it behind the lines. Nightmarish. The short behind the scenes bit about the necessary Ooh. inaccuracies in this video because it's not really actually possible to rank black holes like trading cards. How so? Well, while we've cataloged millions of stars, we really only have good data on a couple of dozen black holes. That's because black hole gazing wasn't really a thing until 50 years ago, and technically yep. still isn't because we can't see black holes. Also fair. We can only derive their properties from studying their gravitational effects on the matter around them, like the orbit of stars that come close to them. This effect depends on the mass of the black hole, which we can approximate at the most basic level with Kepler's laws. But this comes with huge uncertainties and error bars. Yeah, I was about to say, we yeah, here comes, here comes the math part. Next, <laughs> which brings new uncertainties. For example, we Spoilers, chat, math was never my strong suit in school. Equation, Not at all, I hated it. <laughs> black holes easily, round and easily with some of the lowest grades I ever got. Math. Really exist. <laughs> the reality is that physics on these scales is a bit fuzzy. So some of the black holes we talked about here may be way smaller or way bigger. We just don't know for sure. Yeah, the math. <laughs> listen, listen. Once they once they started adding letters into math, I just gave up. <laughs> I'm like fucking hell. <laughs> list that allowed us to be as accurate as humanly possible. You can look at all of this in our source doc. As a result, this script was written with the tears of experts. We drove crazy with our obsession for the best values they could live with. In this process, tons of stuff got cut and didn't make it into the final video. But luckily, we found a way to not waste all of it. 
we've created a lot of black hole merch, spanning the whole range from somewhat bonkers to more serious. There's some this wildly complex numbers, let me tell you. Math is, math is insane. Like, math and science obviously go hand in hand. But at the same time, it's just like, oh, Jesus.